What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're actually starting work on the project car on the Corsa C SXI, and I'm really excited to get going. But before we get into today's video, I just wanna clear something up. A few of you people commented on the reveal of this car video saying, oh, that's not an EP3, I thought you were getting an EP3. Now this is just a project car, this is just a little bit of fun on the side to learn with, to have a laugh with, and just do some crazy shit, really. Um, the EP3, if I was to get it, would replace the VXR. Like I said, this is just something on the side, completely separate for that, to make videos on, and like I said, have a bit of a laugh. So if I was to get the EP3, it'd replace the VXR, which means I would sell the VXR. But yeah, what I wanna do today is, I want to debadge the car. There's a voxel badge on the back. Um, the Corsa badge and the voxel badge have already been taken off, but there's a voxel badge still left on there. So I want to debadge that and show you boys how I actually debadge a car because I never showed you on the on the VXR and I never actually showed you on the SRI. So I'm going to show you on this car today. What I'm going to be using is something called Sticky Stuff Remover. Now you can get this from Halfords. You can just get this from any Halfords. I think it's like six pounds, and it's literally you just spray it on the residue that's that's left over um, from your badges, and it literally just kind of like melts through it and takes the uh, takes the sticky stuff off. Really, that's literally the name. Also, what I want to do today is actually do a wiper delete. Now, I've not got the kill all wipers kit for this car, so what I'll do later is I'll fly to Halfords and get a little rubber grommet just to seal the hole. I'm not too sure if kill all wipers do a kit for the Corsa C. I'll have to check that in a bit, but if they do, I'll end up replacing it. But for now, we're just going to use a rubber grommet. And yeah, let's just get today started. I'm really excited to get working on it. So let's get started. So as you can see, we've already got five brake horsepower. So we're already we're already doing performance mods to the car. That's five brake horsepower there, one hundred percent. So coming to the back, this is the voxel badge. Normally, I think it has um, voxel a, a voxel badge there, and either a Corsa badge there or like a one point two badge there. They've been taken off or they've never been on because they look like they've never been there but what i want to do is take the voxel badge off and do a wiper delete a little bit later so what i'm going to do i'm going to go get the hair dryer and show you boys literally step by step on how i debadge my car now don't go in the comments saying oh you're doing it wrong you're doing that wrong you might scratch the paint this is just literally how i've done it to all my cars and they've worked out pretty well i'll show you what it looks like on the vxr so there used to be a badge in the middle here and as you can see you can't really see it so i think i'm doing it right I am also taking the VXR badge off and having the boot completely debadged, but I'll do that later on. So I'm gonna go get the hairdryer and then I'm gonna crack on. I'm just waiting for Lee to arrive because I left my tripod in his Evo yesterday. But I think in this video as well, we're gonna end up taking the back seats out because it looks like a really simple job. It's a lot easier than the VXR was, but I've just used the sticky stuff remover. And as you can see, you'd never even notice that there's ever a VXR badge there. So. I really, really recommend this stuff. Hair dryer, I used a a little credit card, but it's definitely the best way to do it, I think. Plus, the sticky stuff remover actually works as like a lubricant as well, so you're not scratching your paint. I'll show you how to do it when Lee gets here, because I need my tripod. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna be taking the seats out. I can hear an Evo. Don't know if it's coming from that way, or that way. That way. <laughs> Sorted. So first things first, what I'm going to do is just heat the badge up and then once it's a little bit up to temperature, I'm going to get a card under it and just pry the badge off. It'll take a little bit of time and it'll probably do need some uh, tea cut afterwards because it's quite an old car it's 2005 and this bad has never ever been off but it gets it off in the end you just got to take your time with it and every time it gets dry just squirt a little, little bit more of your uh, sticky stuff on and it'll eventually come off now i know there's two holes in here but i'll eventually i'll get them filled and uh, painted to, to match the rest of the car but yeah i'm going to go halfords now get a grommet and then we're going to do a wiper delete so before we go to halfords and get the grommet i'm actually going to take the back seats out now i'm pretty sure it's a simple job 
I don't think they're actually bolted down these back ones. The bench literally lifts up and I think these are just held in by the quick release. Don't know really how you're explaining, but I think they're just held in by them. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully we can get the back seats out. And then eventually, it'll probably be in another video, we'll strip all this out, get all the plastic out and make it ready for maybe, maybe a roll cage. So stay tuned for that. I've got some big plans for this, but that's for another video. But for now, I'm gonna take the seats out and see how it goes. So I completely forgot to click record on my camera, but the bench just lifts out. That literally just lifts out and unclips. There's no bolts. And with these at the side, you have these little release pins here. All you do is you jam your screwdriver in there and pry it open and then use use that part of the screwdriver against the against the plastic bit and literally just lift the seats out. It's really simple. And then all you've got to do, unbolt the seat bolts and then you can take the seats out. So if you watched the video where I took the seats out of the VXR, the bolts that actually hold the seat belts in are actually exposed under the car and they're really tough to get out. So we're just hammering the T50 into them uh, because it's a little bit rounded off from the T45. Gonna use the breaker bar and hopefully get them out. Okay, so to get the back seats out, um, it's actually rounded off a little bit more. So we're gonna go get a T60 piece from Halfords and gonna get the grommet and then come back and do both of them. On the driveway, uh, it just makes it a lot easier than we only have to make one trip to Alfords and we've got everything we need. So yeah, hopefully by the end of the day the seats will be out and we'll have a wipe delete and then we'll call it a day for today. <laughs> so we've got the grommet and I treated the SXI to a little key ring. So we just resorted in cutting the seat belt because that was the only thing holding the whole backrests in. So we cut the seat belt, then bolts are just rounded off and we're never going to come out. I'll have to drill them out or cut them out. Grind but, them off. Or grind them off. Grind them off. But the seats are out at least, um, and we can do the wiper delete now. Okay, so moving on to the rear wiper delete. I'm not sure how difficult this is going to be because these are normally really, really difficult to get off. But first things first, you want to crack this nut. Um, these might be really difficult. Oh, this one wasn't too bad. Get the nut off. And then the fun part is trying to get the actual wiper arm off. They're really, really difficult. And I think on the VXR, last time I did that, I had to I had to end up sawing it off. So hopefully we don't have to do that today, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so the actual wiper arm is being really, really annoying and it's putting up a big fight to get off. I end up getting it off whether I have to saw it or not, but either way, how to get the actual backing plate off the boot is you've got a Torx 20 screw there, uh, two Torx 20 screws in each one of the holes on the handle, and then another one there. They literally line up. That's where the handle goes. That's the other screw, and there's the other one. Just take them out, and that will reveal the wiper motor. I'm gonna try and take these out and see if I can saw through the actual wiper arm, because that's just putting up too much of a fight, and I don't wanna break the glass. So I've literally tried everything with the tools I've got and the wiper arm is just completely seized on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick the video up another day, probably go to Halfords and get one of the actual wiper uh, pullers, I think they're called, wiper like removal tool thing. So I'm gonna wrap the video up for today, clean all my stuff away, and then we'll pick the video up when I've got the tools to take the wiper arm off. So you're gonna have to excuse the clothing, day two, fresh out of JTF warehouse. We've got Lee here and he's brought Gordon the grinder for the back wiper. I'm just gonna grind it off because I can't be bothered with paying 15 quid for one wiper. And what arrives today is my little gear knob. Right, ready for some grinding. How cool is that? Little um, rainbow gear knob. I like it, I like it. I, actually, I really like that. That's cool. So yeah, got an aftermarket gear. Oh, Gordon the grinder's going. Making his, making his debut. Just get it done, mate. Don't worry about glasses, health and safety. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I thought you were getting that bit. Jump my eye because then you'll be safe. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? You know what, if water gets in, project car. That's all right. That's sound, that. Yeah, it's fine. There you go. D wiped. D seated. D seated. Yeah. Well, are we still the seats in? Are we the... grinding them off? Do you want to? You can if you want. While the grinders there.
Got it, lads. Got my ivies on, so it's all safe. Oh, people have been saying I'll spend double the time at Mackey's now, one course or two course. Okay, so first things first, I apologise if this video was a little bit like thrown together. Um, I was just pretty much having having fun working on the car really. Uh, we finished it, we um, we took the seats out, we did the wiper delete and at the end we installed a aftermarket gear knob. I'll put the gear knob link in the description if you do want it. It's literally pretty much a direct fit to the Corsa C and uh, I'll go inside, I'll go in the car and get some clips of the wiper delete and the gear knob and then we'll wrap the video up. go ahead and end the video there i hope you did enjoy it first time working on the Corsa c this weekend i've got the weekend off so we're going to be working also on the Corsa c i've got some really cool videos planned something i don't think i've ever seen before on youtube um i found it in halfords the other day and it's not going to be too cheesy but i think you're really going to like it so stay tuned for that i hope you did enjoy if you did please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace